The following is a production of the University of Minnesota. So we really have a couple of issues here. Uh, so uh, again, if you are looking at first-hand caterpillars in your trees, um, you know, consider you know, how big they are, uh, how much foliage is left. If it's something where you do want to protect the tree, uh, a couple of options um, would include a BT, Bacillus thuringiensis. This is a bacterial, bacterially based uh, insecticide. You spray it on the leaves. Um, it's a stomach poison, so as they consume it, uh, then they're, they're poisoned and killed. Now, this is particularly effective on small caterpillars and less effective as the caterpillar gets larger. So uh, you're, you definitely want to get this when the problem first occurs. Uh, we have other products like uh, insecticidal soap um, that has no residual. Uh, and you do have to contact uh, the caterpillar uh, with the insecticide. Um, but it actually is pretty effective, again, on smaller caterpillars, not in very large ones. But a, a big advantage is that it has very uh, low impact on non-target insects, particularly bees, um, uh, non-target animals. And so depending on uh, where you're treating, you might find this uh, desirable product to use. There, of course, are other uh, residual insecticides. Um, again, be careful with bees. Uh, make sure that the tree is not flowering uh, when you're treating. Um, Imidacloprid, a systemic, is not effective on caterpillars, so I would not use that. Uh, you're not going to get very good results. Uh, something like amamectin benzoate is effective, but you do need to be uh, aware of the bees. Uh, this product will last uh, for some time, and uh, we're, we're talking you know, a couple of months. And so, uh, particularly if the plant is flowering, you definitely do not want to be treating. Um, if it's going to be flowering still, uh, that material is going to get into uh, the flowers and could potentially cause some some problems, some big problems. So, uh, you know, use your judgment then as to what insecticide uh, you're going to use. So one thing that would be really important uh, with forest and caterpillars is, especially if you've had a history of them in, in your area and you are anticipating them, monitoring them is going to be very important. Uh, there are some insecticides that are going to be most effective when they're small. Uh, the sooner you can treat them and limit them, the less you'll have problems with them later. And so knowing when they first have hatched will be really critical. Now, forest hand caterpillars, and uh, maybe not you know, in the near future, but we're going to get to a point where they're in really high populations. And then we can try to treat them, um, but there are going to be times where they're just so abundant that no matter what we do, we're going to have issues with them. And so, uh, what I'm describing is for individual trees or small numbers of trees. If we're talking about large acreages, um, then our options are really, really limited. And um, oftentimes we don't even recommend trying to treat them. Just let nature run its course. Mm -hmm.